is TNA creating a trios division? This is something that the fan base has been speculating on for a little while now, because if you go back to the top of the year, and it doesn't matter if it's an episode of Impact, it doesn't matter if it's a TNA Plus show, they've been doing a lot of six-man tags. And a lot of these six-man tags have been closing out the show. And it has seemed like TNA has been putting miniature stables together. I say miniature because to me, like a good stable has four people. And they have a name. But they, they're they definitely putting an emphasis on six-man tag right now. And I say trios for lack of... Lack of better term, because that's been what's um, become popular here in the United States after, you know, it was clearly a thing with Mexico. And then um, I think Ring of Honor, no, Ring of Honor didn't call them trios. It called them six-man tag, right? Uh, but but AEW started the trios thing, and I don't know what uh, TNA views it as, but it does seem like they're going that direction because it's very comparable to a time several years ago with the knockouts. And this is something I've brought up quite a bit um, in, in more criticism of the current knockouts tag team division. But I bring up the time where they were laying the groundwork and all the knockouts started kind of pairing up with one another. And they were just forming little alliances. And it just seemed like, hey, you know, they can bring these tag team titles back. And... There's not just one or two other teams to feud with. I mean, you're talking about you had a good handful of teams. And if I remember correctly, I think the pandemic is what threw it off, just like it threw off everything in this world. And by the time the actual tag team tournament rolled around, you know, they had to piece together a few random teams to put in there, uh, teams we had never seen on Impact Television. And you look at it today and it's... It's always a two-team division. But this isn't about the knockouts. It's about, is TNA creating a trios division? You can go down this roster. Now, there's the obvious Moose, Eddie Edwards, and Brian Myers that is pictured right here, the obvious system, right? And then you look at the X-Division champion of Mustafa Ali. At first, he kind of had the good hands there. Now, you know, the Grizzly Young Vets are there. I don't really pay attention a whole lot to what goes on behind the scenes and how that translates to on screen. I really don't pay attention or care that much, but it is possible that at one point, um, you know, the, the plan was Mustafa Ali and the good hands thinking that the grizzly young vets were departing and now they're, they're around, which I think is good on them because, Ali is the most popular wrestler in the Indies right now, so you want to attach yourself to him. So I don't know if it was a course correction. I have no idea. But he's got, he clearly has options. You look at a team like the ABC, they teamed recently with Eric Young, so they've kind of established something there. AJ Francis has Rich Swan, and we don't know what Diener's inclusion is to all this. Was he just a one time tag team partner to take a loss? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be part of this. It would seem like it would be a little out of place. But, you know, you got a couple guys floating around. uh, You know, Jack Price, Sheldon Jean, who would not be out of place. Uh, Jonathan Gresham would not be out of place. So, you know, considering that he's similar in stature to Rich Swan, you know, it could be that could be interesting. And then you've got some auxiliary pieces floating around, by the way, Alan Angels and Boopy and. You know, there's some guys floating around that you you can. I'm not saying I would put them together, but I, I pretty much any male on this roster, aside from PCO, you could probably you could probably throw together. Because um, speaking of Diener, I, I kind of have a feeling him and Khan. Not, I'm sorry, not not. I'm, let me rewind. Speaking of angels, I have a feeling him and Khan might link up again here in the future. But that's just a feeling. You've got the obvious Shira and Champagne Singh. They were rumored to have Rohit Raju at the tapings. So, you know, is that a thing? Um, I know that they released, they didn't release him. I'm sure he still works with the company because I believe he did previously. 
But Oleg Prudius is no longer on the roster page. But I mean, he had done six man tag with Dango and Bravo, you know. So there, there might be somewhat floating around that uh, they could, you know, they could insert into that spot. You know, Frankie Kazarian is right now by himself. But if they if they go full on with this King thing, which I think they should, that's a that's a spot for the good hands. You know, or they 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 might have someone else that they could bring in as well. And um, who else we got? I'm kind of going down this roster. Jake, something's another auxiliary piece that you could you could probably plug in somewhere. Joe Hendry, you could plug in somewhere. So I mean, there there's some possibilities. There's also you know there's, there's obviously the Motor City Machine Guns with Kashida and Kevin Knight, and I can't keep track of their can't keep track of their. 90 tag team names and intergalactic ass slappers. And I I can't keep track of all that, but there's obvious potential for what they can do. I know they got a storyline going on where I think Alex Shelley is going to break off, but you feel me on that. Like there's, there's some possibilities. Uh, The obvious speedball mountain with, with uh, Nick Nemeth. We just saw that recently on TV. So, you know, that's, um, that's right at the top of the card right there. So, I mean, there's so much they can do here. You know, the Rascals had broken off, uh, broken off, excuse me, from uh, Steve Macklin. So, are they bringing Myron Reed in to be that third person? That would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense. And people were asking for it when he was on screen the first time when they had him job to the the Mexican job guys. So, you know, can we see Myron Reed again? Is that why they broke him off from Steve Macklin? You know, I'm I'm just I'm just going up and down here. It's it's just like there's possibilities. What what about our guy Steve Macklin? Is he going to stick around? I know that when he I don't I don't want to say no, but the rumor was when he first joined Impact that they wanted to bring uh, one or two of the guys that he was not two not Gunner but the uh, the other dude who was um, in NXT teasing teaming with Buddy Matthews at one point. I believe they wanted to bring him in as well. Uh, to team with Macklin, but Macklin said he wanted to go on his own. But just the way they broke those guys up, you know, could he be bringing in a familiar face or two to to form a six man tag? You know, what would you guys think of this? Because the possibilities are endless because the male roster is much larger than the female roster. With the females, you got to start bringing girls in. You got to book. You know, we we got to. You know, there's all this that you're doing in a pinch trying to figure out what is the team we're going to put together that's going to challenge for the the titles. Like, you can grab anybody, really, from this male roster. But the knockouts tag started off really hot, and now we have Spitfire as the tag team champions. You know, would, would, would TNA start a division and the systems as the inaugural champions, and then a year from now it's... Uh, you know, the good hands and, uh, you know, some goof they grab off the indies. You, you know what I'm saying? So, I, of course, I definitely want to know your guys' thoughts because is this something that they could do? Is it too many Is it too many belts? Is it like AEW where everyone has a belt? Would this be too many belts if they introduced this? Because it does seem they're going like they're going that direction. Maybe they're not. Maybe Maybe they're doing something that I've – been talking about for a while which was you know just more tag team action to where your champions your moose your alis these guys don't have to defend their title every single impact plus show like is are they trying to find ways to feud for the champions to feud uh without having to do it in a one-on-one match you know if that makes any sense to you but that's a possibility but do you guys think this is something that could thrive? Is, is, is this something you want? Is this something that you co- have confidence that they could book correctly? Because, again, due to the size of the male roster, there should not be a shortage of opponents. I say that, but then you look at the tag team division sometimes, and you're like, where are the tag teams? I do think that it's easier to get away with a random six-man group than it is a random tag team. I don't know why. I, I think because the history of six man tag team wrestling, because they're not they're typically not three man groups. You know, there's there's the new day and there's, you know, every once in a while there's these little three man groups. For the most part, 
six man tags have been random. So you can kind of get away with, hey, we need opponents. We need to build towards something. Uh, let, let's let's throw these three guys together. You know, it works a little more than it would in, in a tag team division. So there there's, you know, there is potential, folks. But, of course, I want to know your thoughts in the comments. And give this video a thumbs up. Why not? I'm your boy. I'm out. Peace.